All right. Well, I got oh, I got to refresh. But let's see. What does my screen look like now? All right. We got Dia. We got Dia now, here. Now you're, not, now you're frozen. Nope. Now you're good. Now I'm frozen again. Okay. When when uh, you're good on my screen, Adam. So give it a refresh again if you need to. But uh, you're good on my screen. Guest is ready. So when you're ready, I, I guess we'll just kind of wait for you here a little bit. There you go. <laughs> Get her up here. Let's do it. Oh, I keep freezing. I'll just keep going until you tell me in the producers club that something is wrong. Nope, you're good. Just start talking. <laughs> All right. Well, hold on. If Dia get is Dia on screen now? Go ahead, get her up. Yes. All right, ladies and gentlemen, join us today on Adam versus the Man is my friend from down under Dia Beltran. So glad I was able to make it back in studio in time to interview her today after our little COVID adventure this morning. So thank you for joining us last minute and for being flexible. Dia, how you doing today? I'm always flexible for you guys. Aww. Have you noticed? <laughs> <laughs> well, Dia, this is we, we are bringing you on for a special purpose today. We want to give you a chance to promote this new documentary. And I'm 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 always inspired by people who are in the sort of same independent media game as I am, who have the uh, you know put their ADD and obsession with the news aside long enough <laughs> to get in depth on a topic. Uh, but I have to say, from from our conversations so far, our, our, our public conversations, uh, the the way that race has come up has been certainly a topic worth getting into. So give us give us the basics. You know, what was the inspiration for this documentary? What's it called? How do people find it? Originally, the documentary was not a documentary. It was just an interview with one of the the, the five uh, people that I ended up interviewing, and. Um, a big so the way it started is actually not a very good way in that um it was me trying to be tactful because i've had unfortunate uh dealings in the past with uh people on the far right and i'm just not there i'm not on the far right i don't understand um their a lot of their uh activities and and the things that they do on a physical level like i just don't understand what they do what they're doing with their life that they're not doing a whole lot but um in this case this was an american his name he's known as gypsy crusader he is um of gypsy heritage and deaf and has and has a very interesting story as to how he became um a proud racist and i was mm -hmm. interested i was like that's that's really that's really unusual circumstances and so i interviewed him and he was very gracious to have me on and then eventually i was like i can't just interview him um you know this 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 will this will um link me too much with now the american far right what can i do to what can <laughs> i do to to you know make this situation um more of a controlled environment and then i was like oh i know I'll interview two black guys as well. And then uh, I interviewed another far right guy and I ended up interviewing um, a Jewish fella who was very much into uh, promoting multiculturalism. And then it ended up being very balanced. And then I felt better about, about releasing mm. it. But despite the fact that my reasoning for it was a selfish one, it ended up being um, a really, a really, a really good uh documentary i'm getting so many really good comments about it the 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 one that i'm getting that um that I, was that one it's too long it's, it's three hours mm. and the second that it's uh i use language that i wouldn't normally use in everyday english and that i should have simplified the language but other than that um people say that it's you know that they, that they, they're, they're resonating with it and um i just wanted to promote it here uh, I was actually a little bit afraid to promote it here because I thought um, because you are of Jewish heritage that you would be <laughs> anti it. But I keep forgetting that you're you and that, like, nothing offends you. Oh, no, I'm, no, no, this is part of the fun that came up is that I'm uh, I'm half Jewish and half German, so genetically programmed to hate myself, but came out <laughs> exactly. the other side somehow. And, no, I've, I, I've always appreciated that. I, I, was, I was thinking, like, wait. I know you interviewed me. You didn't put me in there as the Jew, did you? Because like I don't qualify I like, for a lot of reasons. No, but uh, yeah. I am. You know, I, I do take my my own you know ethnic heritage as as something I value for that. And I I think that as we have this conversation today, and and it, it it's one that it's it. It sounds like it's easy to it, it's easy to overdo it. It's easy for for society to go like, oh, let's you know, let's talk about race and it, but 
there's a, a point in, in human history right now where we live in a world more aware, more connected with more interracial mixing, you know, at least uh, digitally, if not also physically and logistically and romantically and genetically and and every way imaginable. Oh, we are more, um, I, you know, people want to say New York's not a melting pot. It's a mixed salad or it's a, it's a bunch of, pots that just want to live with other pots that are the same color as themselves and they're all little neighbor. but no there's more in today's world more than ever before and it's it's an issue that for human progress needs to be continually examined so given this moment in history what are you hoping the significance of this is going to be or people can get out of this documentary Sure. So um, for those who uh, I forgot to name it. So the documentary is Perspective on Race Today. It is only found at this stage on BitChute because I knew that YouTube would not permit it. Perspective <laughs> on, on, yeah, Perspective on Race yep. Today. Um, and uh, what am I hoping people get out of it? Well, in the documentary, I, I came a across certain things I didn't expect to. And those are that certain stereotypes um are real like i know that's a stupid thing to say people go oh you don't you know, don't stereotype <laughs> stereotypes are true um but that doesn't mean that doesn't mean you treat a person based on the collective i'm still very much an individualist and i think what i want people to get out of it is just that treat people on an individual level just because the the jewish fella that i happen to interview really does um you could really allocate him to the Jewish collective and be like, oh, well, you know, the, the Jewish people, they're allowed to have their ethno state, but, but you know, the white people aren't allowed to have theirs because they, they constantly promote uh, a multiculturalism or, you know, Afri African-Americans or people who happen to be black, sadly, do commit more crime. That's just true. But that doesn't mean that you treat people badly based on these on these. Um, uh, seeming seemingly accurate facts. You still treat people as individuals. You still treat people with love and respect because we are all different. We're not. We're not our collectives, despite despite so many so oftentimes being um, able to easily allocate one to their collective. My mom's Colombian. She's a cleaner. Like, <laughs> so. <laughs> I do have to challenge you on one little thing there Please about. No, about and it's it's kind of a finer point, uh, but the idea that black people commit more crime in the United States very hot topic, always a, a third rail. And I, I Larry Elder, I used Larry Elder in my documentary to prove that point. Sorry, keep going. Well, well right, well, well, I I just want to. There, there's something that that I, I want to point out here that I, that I hope is 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 part of the the message is that uh, racism is is often enhanced and distorted by authority by government. In order to create division, right? War is not absolutely agree. Absolutely agree. In yeah. most cases, without, I, I, I mean, the intersection of war and racism is kind of uh, doesn't really need to be stated, right? Um, mm -hmm. Or doesn't need to be explained. But like in the United States, um, a major part of that is like an exaggeration based on black people get char. If 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 you had a control experiment where black people and white people as groups in the United States committed the same amount of crimes. Black people would be charged with a lot more and per persecuted for more and sentenced for more. And and I, I think one of the important things here that, that I hope comes out of the conversation about racism today. Oh, I'd love is, you to watch the whole documentary. I know you've only seen a portion of it, but uh, yeah, so keep going. Oh, uh, uh, just a perspective of empathy, you know, for when, and, and, and you know, we, we have these certain, like, does that result in black people committing more crimes? I would say probably yes, but I hesitate to say that make that statement without that context of saying, well, the black Americans have been through this experience and this experience and this experience and currently face this challenge and this challenge. And, and I hope that that more empathetic approach is uh, a, a result of the current conversation around race. How do you think your documentary uh, pr supports that? I, I mean, aside from the obvious, as you already said, seeing people that, you know, judging people, as individuals first? Well, um, by the end of the documentary, I, I come up with these conclusions. And one of my conclusions is pretty much just that, what you just stated. Now, do I agree with what you've said in terms of uh, if we were to this and to that? Um, I would say that in today's day and age, um, the white man is actually more persecuted than the black man. I, I do believe that. I know that makes me sound like I'm some sort of a stupid 
a white nationalist. I'm not. I'm not a white nationalist. But um, I do see the white man today as more persecuted than the black man. That's not to say that I don't agree with you that um, there is division. And I do believe that the division is caused by the higher-ups, the elites, the globalists, whoever they may be. Um, the, the issue I have is that we are being... We are tools, right? We're being, um, they, they are using useful idiots like, like the, the black nationalists. They are using useful idiots like the, oh, sorry, give me a second. Okay. You're they are using useful idiots like black nationalists and white nationalists to literally hate each other. They are using, they are using the racial yeah. divide to further that gap and that's where i agree with you that 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 is intentional and that is where i do not play along with those games i'm not going to hate a black person i'm not going to hate a jew i'm not going to hate a white person i'm going to move beyond that and go ha i know what this is this is the this is the elites this is them trying to cause division this is the government trying to make us all hate each other and i'm not on that bandwagon i'm going to only show love and 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 respect and and as much egalitarianism as i can towards all that is the overall uh, message of my documentary. Well, I, I say that, but as a Christian, like I end it with, you know, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And so <laughs> I, I, I end it biblically because I think that's the the best the best message in the world is is to follow Him. But yeah, sorry, but, go ahead. Well, no, fine aside. Uh, but this, <laughs> the, 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 when you, when you say whites are more persecuted today, uh, you know, I. I I, I can't disagree with that because I think it's oh. a somewhat subjective analysis. When you say okay. more persecuted or less persecuted, I might disagree for myself and say, you know, I don't really care to get into that. I respect that opinion that like if, if you want to try to measure overall persecution. Oh, I, I, I would, would say rather... the black man has suffered more in the past. Like, like I just yes, was, yes. when you watch the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, it's like shopping while like, like, like I, I get that, but I feel like today, like in South Africa, blacks are killing whites. Like that's just okay. True. No, that's no, that's so. I, I would, I, and and I, I, I certainly support, uh, you know, a love, any kind of love motivated critical examination of a bigger oh, social. Oh, this documentary is yeah. that, yeah. But I, I, I think I have a kind of knee jerk aversion. I, I'd like to think it's more thoughtful, perhaps, but I, ha I seem to have kind of a knee jerk aversion to these bigger sort of race comparative analyses. Like, well, you know, who's more persecuted or who commits more crimes? You know, I, I, I is what, what's the value in that? Is is my sensitivity to that maybe something that's holding me back from? Uh, yeah, you're deeper being a bit of a analysis? you're being a pussy. Let me tell you why. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fair enough. All right, no, I, it, it is. I mean, I, I, yeah. It's, it's, I, silly. I'm, sorry. I'm not. I'm not so insecure in my masculinity that I can't examine one little intellectual tendency and say I'm. I'm being somehow like fear motivated. Like, am I? Am I? Am I trying too hard to be politically correct? Now, I hosted, I and I'm, I'm very. I'm. I'm. Very, I'm very proud of the fact that I hosted the Black Community Outreach Panel. And, and made that happen at the uh, 2018 Libertarian National Convention. And, you know, one of my, my favorite black libertarian activists is uh, Maj Touré, who cool. uh, does Black Guns Matter. And it's oh, nice. uh, firearms awareness and self-defense training for urban communities. And it's not, you know, it, it's, it's not, it's definitely racial without being racist, uh, but mm -hmm. it is an emphasis on arming the black community and, and it's uh he said in this in this uh in this panel he said uh the most important thing is to be confident in your intention and if you're going in with love and you're going in with without uh desire to to, to hurt anybody you just want to show love for everybody who, every human being regardless of race and and address that issue in a serious way like that's enough and i'm, I'm confident in that but do, do you really think uh, that that um i'm i'm somehow shying away perhaps from I think uh, it's accidental. I don't think you mean it. Analysis. Yes, because, for example, when I used to use the term, what was it, Ra race preservation, a lot of people would take take stand aback and they're like, oh, that, that's, that's a dirty word. But it isn't to me. And I think I've been desensitised to it because of my dealings with the far right for so long that I kind of agree with 
them a little bit on on that that first of all that that word shouldn't be dirty that's i've been conditioned out of that thought and two that um and we've had this conversation before already on my when you were on my show that um it's you think that ethno nationalism is dumb those were your words and i think you know i think it's okay for japan to to be purely homogenous for sudan to be purely homogenous for israel to be purely homogenous and whilst i'm glad as a latina that i'm living in australia and i know that i'm a beneficiary of this immigration that's been permitted by the same token um i am european and um i i do see what's happening in my country i see you know, so many Asians, and I don't hate Asians. I, I just want, I, they're not in my doc, they're not in my doc, they're not in my documentary, but I don't hate them. But, um, oh, you so know. you just love, you, you didn't include them. You just want to exclude no. them. They're I left them out. I kept the conversation black, white, Jew. Like, <laughs> that's how I kept it. But, um, because that's where the biggest racial divide is. But um, yeah, look. Uh, oh, you I'm don't think that's a, you don't think that's a Western centric analysis? Look at the divide between Uyghur no, Muslims and the rest of China. You maybe know, that's look my at, next look, documentary. And Tibetans, maybe. you know, or or Pakistan and India and, and Kashmir and and uh, I mean, there there's there's plenty. There's a of, conversation to be had. Bigger ethnic divides. <laughs> <laughs> very true. That's very true. But I, I think covering the the Jewish white topic kind of covers uh, what you sort of just no, stated. I, you're looking at you're looking at the deeper dynamics using these I just the examples that you're familiar with to get into. Yes. Right? But yeah, exactly. So just back to what you were asking um, with like, are you being a little sensitive regarding the whole black white uh, issue um, in terms of? It's not um, black white. Just general racial comparative analyses that involve okay. some large scale subjective value judgment. That just seems like unnecessary. Yeah. Well, the reason I think it is necessary. It's like when people. It's like okay, I don't know how to explain it. Um, it's a good question. Years ago, um, I started doing a contrast between the Prophet Muhammad. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I don't mean to make it too controversial. And the Prophet Bless Jesus be his Christ. Name. Yeah, exactly. Also, just, just exactly. exactly. And the prophet of Jesus. And um, someone, I got a lot of people writing to me saying, dear, this poly, you shouldn't be doing this contrast, don't do it. And I'm like, but then how do you know what is a fact, what is true, if you don't do the contrast? Like by doing the contrast, you get you get the fair analysis, you get the, the right understanding. Yes, you can say, all of these people have uh, are suffering because of these reasons and they have suffered throughout the years and all these people are suffering for these reasons. But at the moment, it's true. If, if someone says someone has minority privilege, at the moment, that's true. Like if you have, if you're white at the moment, that's, that works against you. If you're black, if you're Latino, if you're any other race, you'll probably be able to use See, I, I, I would i would i would want to i i get your point i'm going against my there, own i'm going that, against my that own there, no, that there, are, there are ways in which it works like that yes but then Thank overall you. it's still you i, still I don't mean think it, it's, it's very subjective like you can say that in some situations absolutely because of affirmative action in america uh -huh. if you want a specific yeah. job or ed, you know an educational position or slot and as a student or what have you in a program you, your your standards are, might be lowered for, or, or you might be at a competitive advantage because of minority status. But compared to like legacy and inheritance and dealing with the police and uh, dealing with banks, is does, does that outweigh it yet? I don't think we're there yet. I, I, I mean, in my subjective yeah. analysis, I'm, 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 I, I'm I am 100% on board with uh, the majority meritocracy over a mm -hmm. racial system. Um, I agree with I'm that. with you there. But I and so I'm happy to acknowledge the ills of affirmative action, uh, but I I wouldn't say that affirmative action as a whole or that even category of, of social sympathy for for minorities has yet to come to outweigh white privilege. Because okay, even though I'm half Jewish, do you believe, I believe in privilege. Do you believe in white privilege? <laughs> I well, I believe in I believe I I don't I I, I see like it trying to do. I don't, I don't, I don't use that. that term very often. Um, it because sounds like I you mean, believe that it's a thing. I, I it don't. is. It, absolutely. Um, and and no, I, I I've, I've been to jail 
in the United States where I'm the only white dude on the block, you know, and everybody else is black and you go and they treat me and I get they treat me differently because I'm usually like a high profile. But they commit more crimes. Of course there was going to be more black people. They no, well, represent they 30% of the crime. For the same stuff. You look at, you look at traffic stops in the United States. If uh, a, a black guy gets pulled over for the same speeding, whatever as a white dude, He's more likely to get searched. He's more likely to, to leave in cuffs from that from that traffic stop. Well, look, you know what? And I'm not there, so you're probably right. And maybe that that's not a point that I made in my documentary. That was not one of my points that I made, but I did, <laughs> I, uh, I did say overall black people. So um, meaning the continent of Africa, there is just more crime there. Um, also, so I, I think, uh, I think that's I think that's giving in to to the very collectivism behind the racism. But you know what? To me, it's totally. just I I would prefer to to avoid those larger scale value judgments um, a, as a matter of intellectual integrity. But I understand that that's why I in order, individualize. That's my overall point. Yes, and in order in order to to understand some of these things, sometimes you have to go through that. You have to look at the world that way and analyze these racial conflicts assuming mm -hmm. these premises in order to understand that the premises are wrong in the first place which gets us to the point of this which is to be able to see uh past to understand racial judgments to understand yeah. racial differences to be at peace with that to not be hypersensitive or or anything about it and yes, then stop be, it. be be empathetic and mm -hmm. to relate to people as into to, to be able to see past all of that to relate hmm. to your fellow human beings as, as individuals who are worthy of their individuality. I yes, and that is the overall point. Um, I even I even admit in my documentary that I started to form a little bit of hatred, uh, a momentary hatred for black people because um, of what all because when you when you do research and all you do is research, 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 and all the videos you find of violence. Literally everyone is black on black crime or black on white crime. You can't help but be like, there's a pattern here. And then when you find white, when you finally find videos of white people committing acts of violence, it's not the same level of violence. Um, uh, like, we do it in you, uniform. But yeah, well, that's true. <laughs> and, but, um, and, that's, and, I'm, and I'm not opposed. Uh, like, <laughs> I, maybe should, I should have asked you for some videos, but I asked several different people for videos of white violence. And I have. I have them and I show them in my video, I do. But um, not to the level of chopping someone's head off, to making someone seizure, to throwing a baby in a, in a canister. It just, and so then um, in, in, in I, I had to re-intellectualize because I was like, I don't want to hate anyone. I'm, well, I'm, a, nice, the, I'm a nice person. I, I, see, I, I, it's ironic. I'm wearing this today only because I was going out to get my COVID test. <laughs> but you want to go out and, and I understand. <laughs> So they're not even knows. I got it tested. It's bad. Don't get yeah, tested. Well, no, I I did it myself in the truck. Oh. I'm driving through Walgreens, and I have to do it because my wife and I are doing our honeymoon in Hawaii next week. Oh. In order to nice. uh, test out of, of quarantine, apparently. Um, mm. So we had to do it within seventy two hours. Anyway, all but my point Sorry. was that um, even in your analysis, and and this is another reason why I I think it's important to shy away from those bigger collective judgments is that. We're very prone to manipulation in what we count, and 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 I, I mean, uh, one, I I hate to be like you know, a race traitor to my to my own whatever white Jewish people, but um, <laughs> you look, I I want to just provide the intellectual counterpoint as a no as, no, no, as, no I want you, know, you to I want you to challenge me. So, I'm not a racist. I just sure no no I, I I as and and actually I do want to point out that what you admitted to of of having developed a bias and a hatred, I did. Uh, I that's really powerful. And and mm -hmm. to acknowledge that is 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 I think critical for a lot of people. You're setting a beautiful example there. But anyway, so to this counterpoint of war, and I understand yes, the U.S. military is racially diverse, but it's reflective of America. It's predominantly white, and it's run by and it's our uh, uh, like even more white among officers than enlisted. And you look at the like my war crimes, you know, and torturing people in Iraq. And and uh, it was one night I was ordered to to do sleep deprivation torture guarding detainees. Yeah. You look at Abu Ghraib. Look at uh, you know the troops uh, pissing on on 
dead insurgents, even if that's what they were, defending their country against a foreign invasion. Uh, that's um, that's a lot of uh, pro- predominantly white on Arab crime that you yeah. just don't even think of because it's institutionalized and it's in uniform as and done earlier. legally in, in uniform, which is not right. Yeah, and you know that's a topic for another time. That's a docu- That's a whole documentary itself, really. Yeah. No, so but, I, I, um, it's part, good. My, it's good. My, You're leveling it out for me, and and I like yeah. that because I don't want to have. <laughs> I don't want that bias, but it's there because I've done that research. I've been working on this documentary for about four or five months. So sadly that that's the research I, I, I accumulated, but I like that you're talking me out of it. Well, no, it's, it, it's really also important to point out that um, as we, as we advance as a species, as we become more harmonious, more aware, more, more intelligent, more capable, that uh, we we have to we have yeah we have to step back and and do these analyses and recognize that they will always uh, be imperfect but humanity moves forward with love and now I, I think uh, on uh, this you know acceleration of the human experience it's uh, it's really cool to see that this conversation around race growing and evolving and. Uh, it's it's uh, just awesome to be able to share the experience with you. So uh, we've got the link. We're going to make sure that the link to your documentary. I love that you're doing it on BitChute. Also, very cool. Um, Exclusively, consci- yeah. Con- yeah, conscientious uh, distribution. Um, and yeah, like you said, this is a lot of stuff that you get cut for on YouTube. All right, so there's there's the link in on on the screen. It will be in the notes wherever you're watching or listening to this. One quick comment from our producers club. Craig says, until we quit looking at the color of people's skin to make an opinion and instead look at the individual's heart, we will always have racial strife. So Dia, thank you for being a part of that process, moving past that. Uh, I was any looking final patterns of behavior, by the way. <laughs> and any any uh, final thoughts on, on what you would want people to know about your documentary? Oh, just that um, please watch it, please circulate it because ultimately the message is a biblical one. I, I ended up back to where I, I originally was on the topic of race. I'm not, I, I, I don't, I think being race, a realist, a race realist is not the same thing as being racist. And that's where I ended up um, acknowledging the differences, but loving mm-hmm. everyone for them. We're not all the same. For people to say that is stupid. Oh, I don't see color. I see color, but I love everyone for their talents and their skills. Beautiful. Thank you so much for joining us all the way from down under this morning, Dia. No and worries. Craig Thanks for having said, me. Love is always the answer. Great guest, indeed. I agree. Thank you. Dude. Always have fun talking to you. Uh, and Kim, I adore her. Oh, look at that. All right. Let's, uh, should, we, should we get uh, Jim or Mercedes or someone back up here to check in on comments today? <laughs> 